BSU alumni fills all six seats of the Boise City Council, and then more Hollywood sex scandals. And we visit the history of the Boise Depot. These stories are more coming up on the Newsline Week of November 15th, 2017. Thank you for joining us on this Newsweek edition. I'm Josh Margin. And I'm Doug Mason. Boise State University holds its head a little higher in the Boise community by having all six seats of the Boise City Council filled by Boise State alumnus. Teresa Sanchez, Holly Woodings, TJ Thompson, Elaine Clegg, Lauren McLean, and Scott Ludwig, all elected in the recent local elections, have not only made Boise State proud, but have made City Council history by having them all be Boise State University alumnus. Lisa M. Gardner, Executive Director of Alumni Relations at Boise State says, quote, we have always believed that our graduates are among the best in our communities, and it appears the voters agree, end quote. Congratulations to the new city council members, and we are sure you will make our community very proud. Over the past few weeks, Hollywood celebrities have been under fire with recent allegations about sexual misconduct. Stars like Kevin Spacey, the lead on the Netflix show House of Cards, was accused of making advances towards teenage boys. Now comedian Louis C.K. is being accused of making inappropriate gestures towards women. Which shockingly, he confirmed the truth in that statement and when he read, and I quote, the power I had over these women is that they admired me, and I will that power irresponsibly. I am now remorseful of my actions, and I have tried to learn from them and run from them. Now I'm aware of the of the impact of my actions, end quote. In the lieu of this, Louis C.K.'s television contract with FFX has been canceled, and although he is one of few men that have admitted to the misconduct that he has been accused of, many still feel this behavior should have been addressed earlier. As the years have progressed, Boise State's uh, enrollment has been increasing at a steady rate. In fall of 2017, the official enrollment is 24,154 students, the highest in university history. The research shows that Boise State is educating more degree-seeking undergrads than last year and any year before. This year, there are more degree-seeking masters and doctoral degree students, more Hispanic and Latino students, more honors college students, more online undergraduate and graduate students, and more transfer students. Besides the enrollment for this year, the the university also set a record with 4,172 graduates earning a degree or certificate in the past year. President Kustra, who um, retired today, offers some insight on why our student body is growing at such a high rate. Quote, it is clear that Boise State remains a top choice for Idaho students as well as those from a growing portion of the West and beyond. End quote. This year marks the beginning of a steady increase in enrollment here at BSU. And now we have Brennan Serrano with your weekly sports update. Brennan, what's going on? Not a lot, guys. I'm just trying to figure out what happened this last Saturday. That was a I crazy mean, that game. That was absolutely crazy insane. Game. Wow. After the Rams managed to jump out to an early 26-3 lead after the first quarter, Boise State managed to cut it down to a 35-17 lead after Alexander Madison scampered 26 yards for a touchdown heading into the locker room. Then with just under three minutes to go in the game, Colorado State took a 52-38 lead when Rashad Bodie found the end zone from four yards out. Rippon would then find Sean Monster from 13 yards out to cut it to a 52 to 45 deficit. An incredible Cedric Wilson onside kick recovery set up a game-tying game six-yard touchdown pass from Rippon to Monster with 43 seconds left. Alexander Madison scored in overtime to give the Broncos a 59 to 52 lead that they would not let go as Leighton Van Der Esch caused a fumble that was recovered by Tyler Horton to seal the game in Fort Collins. Now as for this coming Saturday, the 18th, Boise State hosts the Air Force Academy on senior night. This game could also decide who represents the Mountain Division in the Mountain West Championship game. With the win, Boise State would send out the 14 seniors with a Mountain West Championship game appearance. This Saturday's game kicks, kicks off a little bit late this week at a chilly 8.15 p.m. Senior ag activities will begin prior to kickoff. As for volleyball, the Boise State volleyball team is also hosting senior night tonight at Bronco Gym against the San Jose State Spartans at 7.30. The Broncos will be closing out their home season with the regular season coming to a close Saturday, November 18th against Nevada. Sierra Nobley, Maddie Osborne, Lainey Hayes, and Jamie Lee Bolda are the four seniors that will be honored pre-match tonight. Nobley needs just 14 digs to become the fourth member of the 1,000 Kills 1,000 Digs Club, and senior libero Maddie Osborne is currently ranked 22nd among active 2017 NCAA players for career digs with 1,713. Guys, the winter may be approaching, but, uh, you know, Bronco Athletics are still heating up. Basketball is just around the corner. Heck, yeah, we are. We're killing it, aren't we? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. We Definitely. All right, now we're going to send it over to our weatherman with his weather plan, Brad Sloan. What do we got out there, man? 
Thanks, guys. Well, you got nothing too crazy this week. As you can see, we got some showers going in on uh, Thursday and Monday. And then starting off your weekend on Friday, you're going to see a high of 45 and a low of 27. It's going to be partly cloudy. And on Saturday, you might want to bundle up for when it comes to game time because, as Brendan said, it's going to be a low, brisk 30 degrees. And get this, so on Sunday, it's going to be a high and sunny 49 degrees. So you get to hang out outside for a little bit. Starting off your week on Monday, it's going to be a high 44 with showers, like I said. And then finally on Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to be a high 53 with a low of 39, partly cloudy on both of those days. I'm Brad Sloan, your weather man, your weather plan. Thanks, Brad, with the weather. And now we like to tell you that this is the end of our show right here. I'm Josh Margin. We thank you for watching and have a happy Thanksgiving. And I'm Doug Mason. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.